Hello everybody, it's the Tech Tipster here again and today I'm showing you my personal media experience running straight from the power of the Super Nintendo. I'm making this video to show you how I do things in my living room and hopefully while I do that you can get some ideas and inspiration for your personal setup in your home. Now that's no ordinary Super Nintendo in the bottom left of my TV stand. It's actually been gutted and fitted with the internals of an old Acer Aspire S3 laptop. It's running Windows 7 and booting straight into Kodi XBMC for my media experience. Now you can see on screen now my remote control which is actually a DualShock 3. I love this thing as a remote, it connects via Bluetooth, has great battery life and allows me to jump straight into some retro gaming when needed. I connect this to Windows using the Scarlet Crush X input wrapper and I'll leave a link to those drivers in the description. Now I'll just tell you a little bit about how I get my TV shows and movies to appear as they become available. For TV I use Show RSS to track and download my shows with uTorrent and Couch Potato tracks the movies I'm interested from IMDB. Watchdog is the add-on I use to scan my download folders and that automatically adds these to my library when they arrive. On screen now are my add-ons and my favourite would have to be Genesis from this bunch. One channel is also very good and Phoenix is great for a browse when I'm a little bit bored. As for program add-ons, add-on installer makes life easy and ROM Collection Browser is a must have for any of you gamers out there. Now I'm going to quickly open ROM Collection Browser and show you one of my favourite features of this setup. Now we'll just jump into one of these games, let's go Mario Kart. And this is running using the Z-SNES emulator. And now this is where the DualShock 3 comes in very handy. So this works flawlessly with these games. And here is the special feature that I love. The Super Nintendo controllers are set up to be used as well. Now this is running from a simple USB to Super Nintendo adapter from Amazon. And to make that compatible with the front controller ports of the Super Nintendo, I had to very tediously wire around 30 connections from that front panel to the USB interface. Now it was a pain in the ass, but it was worth it because there's nothing like playing Super Nintendo with the original controller. If you do want more info on that little hack, please leave me a comment and if I do have enough interest, I will do that. But as it is, the inside of that SNES is a real mess and I hate taking it apart. To exit from the emulator back to Kodi, I use Event Ghost running in the background and I use a four button combination on my remote to close that off and bring up the interface again. So that's pretty much it guys, I hope you like this quick tour, please like, subscribe and comment and I'll see you guys in the future.